So last night at midnight, The Outer Worlds for the Nintendo Switch was released. And as simply as I can put it, it runs and looks, well, terrible. What's up guys, welcome back or welcome in for the first time. We're gonna jump right into this. So this video is about the game and how it looks and how it runs, but I wanna get in a little bit more deeper than that because I feel a little bit like I've been tricked here and I'm not happy about it. I feel like this is kind of like a snake oil salesman type situation or like a shady used car salesman trying to get rid of a lemon on an unsuspecting customer. This whole thing is just a very, very bad look and I really wanna talk about it and make sure you guys understand what is going on with this game. Okay, so I wanna start, I wanna go back to last year when they first announced that The Outer Worlds would be coming to Switch. So obviously that was an exciting announcement and you know, I was, I was definitely excited. I chose not to play the game on any other console and wait for the Switch version because I really wanted to play the game in handheld mode. And you know, like anything that's ported to the Switch, I was expecting a visual downgrade. Like, I know it's gonna happen. It's just not as strong as the other hardware. That's it, and that's fine. Totally okay with that. As of right now, with the current Switch, that's kind of just something you have to accept. But to be 100% honest, if you look at ports, like for instance, Doom 2016, The Witcher 3, which is th the big one. You know, it's probably one of the best, if not the best port on the Switch. Considering what they're running on, those look pretty good, especially The Witcher. I mean, th those games look good and there's a lot more. I mean, even games like Warframe that's free to play looks great on the Switch. So my thinking was, okay, obviously this is something that can be done to a reasonable degree, so I'll wait. So let's fast forward from then to last week. And the company doing the port Virtuos, they came out and said that they could port any game to the Switch, current gen or next gen. So when you hear something like that, you know, immediately you think, well, these guys must have it figured out, you know? Companies like Panic Button come along and do things like Doom, and they look great, they run great. So maybe these guys are gonna take it to the next level. I mean, if they can really get next gen games playing on the Switch, even current gen, that's a pretty big feat. Now that, coupled with the fact that the developer went on record several times saying that the Outer Worlds would run in handheld at 720 and docked 1080p, that was the target. I mean, you know, yeah, all that sounds really good. It sounds too good to be true. And you know, the old saying, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And in this case, it definitely is too good to be true because if they were targeting 1080p docked mode, they didn't hit it. And if they were targeting 720p in handheld mode, they didn't even come close to hitting it. So last night, as I said, I started playing this game at midnight and I started out in docked mode. And immediately when you fire it up, you can tell, okay, this is not gonna be 1080p. And I was gonna let that slide. It looked decent enough, it was fine. So I played in docked mode for about two hours and I cannot even tell you how many dropped frames I had, loading screens out of nowhere, crazy pop in, and just all around really terrible looking textures and environments. Now, I will admit some parts of the game look decent. Not many of them, but some parts do. But anywhere out in the open world, you might as well just close one eye and squint. And like I said, I've been waiting a long time to play this game, so I tried my best to ignore a lot of this stuff and just play the game, but it's really, really difficult to do with all that going on. And it's a shame because as far as I can tell, the story seems really good, the characters I really like, and pretty much the all around gameplay seems fun so far. And I'm not even that far into it. So after a few hours of docked mode, it was like 2 a.m. and I decided, you know, I wanna keep playing, but I have, to, I have to do this in bed. So I went over to my dock, grabbed the switch out, looked at the screen, and I honestly could not believe what I was looking at. A blurry, just mess. I, I don't know any other Better way to explain it, but a blurry mess. Which honestly was the biggest letdown of all of this because I have been waiting so long to play this game for the fact that I wanted to play it in handheld mode. You know, if I wanted to play it on the TV, I could have done that last year. I could have done it on my PlayStation. I could have done it on Xbox. At this point, I can do it for free on Xbox. But in my opinion, handheld mode, it's not even playable. It looks terrible. I mean, to me, in handheld mode, it looks like a 3DS game. So that brings me to the uh, snake oil salesman thing I talked about earlier. And this is, this is really where this whole thing just kind of upsets me and honestly just really bums me out. Now, as I said earlier, in an interview, Virtua said that they can port any game from current consoles or next gen consoles to the Switch. If this is what they're talking about, then 
No thanks, I'm good. I wanna bring up The Witcher again really quick because as a port, that is how you bring something to the Switch. They took that game from the ground level up and did what they had to do to make everything work on the Switch the right way. Not just fit on the Switch and throw it on there. And you can tell, the game runs really well for the most part and it looks really good. Especially with the updates they just did, it looks fine. No, it does not look like the PS4 version, but it looks fine, it's totally serviceable. There's no issue with it. That's another thing, it runs well. Like the game not only looks good, but it runs the way it's supposed to for the most part. With the Outer Worlds, you're just not getting that. I mean, taking an open world game like this and just pulling stuff out and downgrading textures and just smashing it down and then throwing it on the Switch is not the right way to do this. Nobody wants that. At that point, why bring it over? If it's almost unplayable in handheld mode, why bring it over to the Switch? I just don't understand and this makes absolutely no sense to me. I mean, th this just definitely is not what I was expecting and not what I was looking forward to. And it's, it's sad really, because from the little bit I've played, this is a good game and chances are I won't be finishing it on the Switch. I mean, it's a bummer. You know, I thought maybe Virtuous was gonna come in and be the port masters of the Switch, but if this is what they're offering, it doesn't look that way. Unless there is a massive patch very soon to fix this, it's a tough sell. Especially with games out there like Doom and The Witcher that are such high quality. It can be done. Clearly it can be done because it has been. As of right now, without a patch, I just cannot recommend that anybody go buy The Outer Worlds on the Nintendo Switch right now. So if you're someone like me who's been holding out because you want to play it in handheld mode, as of right now, it doesn't look like you're going to be able to do that. And if you decide that you are, it's not going to be a great experience, I can promise you that. My advice would be go play it on PlayStation for cheap, or if you have Game Pass, go play it on that because it's going to look better, it's going to run better, and you're not going to have to spend $60 on it. You know, a lot of times I try not to go this hard on a game, but I really feel like I've been taken advantage of here as a Switch user and I just think this is wrong. I don't think that they should be hyping these games up and saying, you know, 1080p, 720p handheld when clearly we're not even getting close to that. I mean, it's a, it's a blatant lie. Anyway guys, let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Please leave a like on this video, make sure you are subscribed and we will see you in the next one.